Hi, I'm Joe Fielder. I'm the writer and director of Underworld Descendant for Other Side Entertainment. So Joe, how did the idea for this game come about? Uh, well, Paul Nurath uh, managed to unearth the rights for uh, a follow-up to uh, Ultima Underworld, which was uh, the game that uh, really is credited with kicking off the immersive sim genre, you know, uh, decades ago at this point. Uh, so uh, we are returning to the Stygian Abyss within it. Uh, we're following up on a lot of the major characters and uh, uh, story elements, but it's also set up so that if you haven't played those games before, uh, you can just dive in really quickly and uh, uh, get up to speed. As a writer, what do you think it is about high fantasy that makes it such a good context for video games in particular? That's a good question. I don't know. I, I'd say like uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of similar themes to uh, uh, you know war stories, uh, to uh, uh, you know a lot of stories where people are, are living a little uh, uh, closer to uh, the, the the survival. I know I, I took some inspiration from uh, Deadwood. Uh, for the Stygian Abyss, of just that sort of like rough pioneer sort of feel uh, for the characters, and uh, 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 with a, with quite a bit less swearing now. As a writer, talk about what the biggest trope is to try to avoid when writing in a high fantasy world. Uh, well, our dwarves aren't obsessed with gold. That's one 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 element. Uh, you know, the the expedition they have a little bit of that, that sort of like pioneer feel to them. Uh, they're they're kind of uh, 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 high functioning, uh, uh, almost uh, mental like uh, uh, overachievers. Uh, but uh, I mean, really, the process for writing this game for me was. I mean, I worked on uh, a lot of like one way to play linear games for years, and now with uh, a lot of the streaming elements out uh, uh, out there, you can you can work on a game for six years and then see it online, you know, within the weekend. So we're really uh, you know pushing to make a game that is you know, constantly replayable and where the narrative reacts to your choices, so that you can keep on playing the game multiple times and have a really unique experience. And for me, that's really uh, about uh, uh, staying out of the way of the player. Really, the, the, the narrative in uh, Underworld Descendant is your story, it's not my story. So, Can you talk about what makes this dungeon crawler first person RPG different from other ones out there like Elder Scrolls, for example? Uh, I would say definitely uh, a lot on the immersive sim elements. There are a lot of elements within the game that are set up just to, uh, so the world makes sense. Uh, uh, we actually have to, our first level in the game is kind of an untraining level where we have to show you that like, hey, doors can be broken down or set on fire, uh, unlike in a lot of games, uh, and doing that might attract some attention. Uh, torches, which sometimes are just for show in games and static, you can quench every torch in our game. Um, and uh, even our traps are physics based, so they can be blocked with heavy objects uh, or glue. They're not just uh, animations that are playing. So it's really kind of trying to immerse people into that world sim element. Uh, but on top of that, we're making a game where the environment's constantly changing and evolving. So you'll return to areas that you may have been earlier in the game, and they're very different. Uh, the outcasts may have uh, uh, built uh, new structures, so there's new movement options, there's new challenges, uh, there are there's a degrading world state, uh, so as the game progresses, creatures from the lower abyss start to well up uh, into the higher levels, and so a uh, level you may have gone to now may be radically different and more challenging. Uh, obviously, game's still work in progress. Can you talk about the skill tree that I saw? I saw stealth, combat, and magic. Yeah, uh, we don't really we don't have character classes within Underworld Descendants. Uh, it's really up to you to you know customize your character however you want. We have dozens of different unique skills and abilities for combat, stealth, and magic. There's elements that are really focused on the, the melee combat, but also uh, a lot of uh, movement options. Combat in our game. Uh, is very focused on utilizing your environment uh, and uh, uh, kind of uh, using it to your advantage. And stealth elements also kind of can add to that. Uh, and same with magic. So uh, you can really mix and match to create a character that you know sneaks up into the perfect spot to set off the perfect spell or ambush a character or however you like. It's really totally up to you. And one person may play completely differently from another. Uh, you know, we've I was mentioning earlier. Every time that we bring in new people to play the game, we see them 
play radically differently, and we see them come up with solutions that we've never seen before. A lot of game directors like to use their own engine or in real. What made your studio decide that Unity was the right way to go? Uh, Unity ended up, uh, our engineering team decided that uh, Unity was a really great way to go because they found that they could do a lot of uh, prototyping very quickly and uh, you know, getting uh, new elements within the game and testing them out and uh, with a game that has so many different systems and skills and abilities, uh, it really allowed us to, like I said, we have dozens of different skills and abilities in a lot of games that uh, they are a little more conservative in that, but we've been able to really dive in using Unity. And uh, we're also, uh, we've been working with Unity to, uh, on our lighting system, which of course, being heavy on stealth, is really tied into uh, tied into gameplay as well. And they've been, they've been great to work with. How do you personally like to play your game? That's a good question. Uh, I, you know, I, uh, I like to engage in combat, but I, you know, I like to vary it up a lot. You know, it's, uh, I, I, you know, as somebody who's also testing out a lot of the systems, I really try to push it in a lot of different ways. I was just showing our uh, executive producer a video that I, I took uh, of playing just last week, where I ran into an area, jumped onto a vine that isn't there all the time, you know, swung across, landed on an enemy turned around and shot it with the skeleton and that's totally different than I would normally play which is I might normally play in a stealth way. So when does your game come out and what platforms will it be on? Uh, we are coming out on the second half of this year uh, primarily for the PC and then later for uh, Mac and Linux. Any plans for Nintendo Switch? Uh, I would love that when uh, we're not announcing anything today.